there, welcome back to Wayne's Garage. Um, today, starting on going to do a video on how to put your, well, should have actually done it uh, the other way around, um, how to take your, your grill apart, um, and that which I can still show you is it's basically quite very simple because uh, I'm redoing it. this grill here at the moment. Um, so basically all you need to do is you've got these little tabs just here um, and that. So all you do is you go along and that if you want to take the top one out you might just get yourself a pair of pointy nose pliers or some uh, coffee grips. Then all you need to do is just get in there, clamp it on and just twist it around. So once you've done that, then basically you can uh, pull the edge by it separately. Um, that. So it's, it's very simple on how to take it apart. Your, uh, your center bar down there actually has, I'll show you um, this spare one. Um, it actually has a couple of uh, nuts, uh, nuts, bolts, they hold it on. And there you have the four main center uh, cross supports. So, what I'm um, doing um, um, is um, going along and cleaning the support buckets up. And repainting them at the same time. And I've gone along and I've started on some of them. Um, and I've just polished some of the bars up on my little bench grinder pad that I've got. And I've buffed it on there as well. And then I'm going along. So getting it once over with some auto saw metal polish. And I don't have any purple so I'm just using what I've got. So as it go as I go along I'll uh, show you this each step on that um, so then it's the, So now I've taken out another another one of the uh, grill bars and that and now this one is slightly bent. Um, it's also got a couple little ripples in it. I'll put it in a little bit. Um, so if you see just there, there's a ripple there. Now I might be able to get that ripple out, but what I can do is lay it down on the towel and you can see, see if I can get it close. You'll be able to see that it's slightly high and that yeah, it's hard to do this if you use one hand. But just be gentle on that. Make sure you've got a towel on the knife and you'll be able to work it out like that.
and right, this one's just sitting in there because uh, I've got a little couple of things to do on that one. Yeah, can't quite. I might be able to scrape some of that little bit of paint off, whatever it is there and that. But I've gone along and I've put on the bottom brace on that. So basically, it um, will help support it a little bit better. Uh, I've got two more cross braces to put in. Four more um, wheelbar to put, put over and put in. This isn't the one I'm keeping, this one is one that I'm selling, um, and that sort of stuff, so it's not 100%, um, but if you want it will look good, and it is a little bit there, and it's already got a close couple of here. But, like I said, in front, it's a bit of a pivot, and the, uh, the batteries. So I'll keep going along, and once I finish, I'll get back together. And, um, I'll go up to this, the final, final fit. there just put the last bar across um, put it in place um, I was contemplating on maybe going over each of the the bars with the buffer wheel over there um, yeah. stuff on the screen um, just over on the uh, bench grinder over there but I might not for now. Um, I'll see how it looks after I've got the rest of it together. I've got that done um, on that. I just got one more cross brace to paint up and put in to here on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually liking the look of just all these so I may go along and get another two um, another one linked to this one here and then another one linked to this one and I might actually put them in there um, on mine and notch out the, uh, the center bit there and just put the centerpiece back in um, and that for mine don't know just yet um, but getting there and looking at the grill just with the grill bars in it actually looks pretty pretty cool clean um, and that so so yeah, it's, it's almost done. 
Um, I'll get there and I'll paint up the uh, the other cross base. And, um, and I've got to find another two speed knots. Um, and that's uh, we've got top and bottom speed knots. Right. I'll just put you in these. Set up later. Anyway, but you got the gist. Um, but there we go. So I'll go along with that. I've got these two to polish up. Well, this one actually has some black paint in between each bar there. So I'm not too sure. That's why I should go along and just paint some black paint in there with a brush. Which I don't think what I'm doing. Um, and that, because then it ties in with each one of these bars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. in which between each one of these it's black so I think I'll do the each one of them black as well what I'd really like to do if I could on um, on mine I'm not gonna do it on this one but on mine is actually go along each one of these That wasn't good. I see from factory that line there didn't line up with this one. I see that bar there was supposed to line up with that bar. So really for it to line up, it should be up there. So anyway, so like I was going to say, what I'd like to do with mine is get another couple of these grill bars that aren't very good. And that, and actually get there and measure out each line here, and then uh, don't know about the center one there, like the shape of the grill bar, but get there and actually put solid fins in. On that, so but anyway, this one's almost done. Uh, when it's completely finished, I'll uh, show you it and I'll put it back together and uh, we'll just stick it up in, against the ute and you guys can have a look at it. And all done, so I'll be back. All finished, girls all put back together, everything's polished up. Now, some areas down along some of the bars, there is still dirt along some of those edges. It's just really hard to get off. It even wouldn't come off with the uh, the, uh, the scrubbing polishing wheel on the compound. Now, this one over here is what it came in looking like. Um, and that had been up in... A mate's um, garage shed quite a bit um, and that so this is how this one's come out I've uh, just run it over with these again just in case you aren't too sure on how to take it apart so before you can take off all these fins you've got to take off the center brace the center bar uh, which has your grill badge in the center and it has this big long bar. Now there is four four little bolts 
and hold it on. Uh, now that size, so you know, is it's going to zoom in. Going to zoom or not? Okay, let's try this. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure is the five sixteenths. So five sixteenths or a ratchet will do it. We'll get it off, and then each little tab on the grill bars, you need to just twist to get them straight so they can come back out of the grooves. Um, so that's it. It's all done. And that uh, I'll just go and we'll sit it up against the front of the car and then you can have a look at it. I'm not popping it in. I'm not getting all their notifications. So I click on the bell button and go all notifications. Also, um, please like the videos, the more likes. Um, if you can, watch them a lot longer, please. Um, and that, even if you just walk away and let it run through. Uh, I'm needing to try and get up to 4,000 um, watched hours and 1,000 subscribers in like another two two months, maybe two and a bit months, um, just so I can get the uh, monetization uh, happening. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Um, don't forget, jump over to the Facebook page, like the Facebook page also, because there may be bits from the video that you don't, um, that aren't on the video, that I take photos of instead and stick up on the Facebook page. Um, and that, and yeah, if you want to help us out a little bit, jump over and grab a sticker from the Facebook page and a magnet. Um, stickers are $5 each or 2 for 7 Free postage within Australia, New Zealand and the US. Um, also, um, $5 for the magnets 
Um, and yeah. Alright then everyone, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, peace.